lately i've been thinking it's been a long time that i've traveled somewhere and i decided to make a little trip and show you how a small town in leningrad region lives you may think oh it's a town near saint petersburg it must be a fancy town okay xenia let's go but you know I visited this town six years ago and frankly speaking, I had not a very good impression. Let's find out if anything changed since then. So, I started planning my trip and it occurred that there is no convenient direct transport connection from St. Petersburg to Nova Ladega for one-day tourists, especially if they don't have a car. And the town is only 120 kilometers away from St. Petersburg, the second biggest city in Russia. So, I had to take a speed train to Volkhov first and then a bus from Volkhov to Nova Ladega. So now I'm in Volkhov and I need to find a bus station very quickly because in 10 minutes um, the bus to Nova Ladega starts and the next bus will be in one and a half hours. So I, re I really need to find the station and the bus and pay for it, by the way. <laughs> so, here is Volkha. This is the monument, I suppose, to the Second World War. And there, the buses. I think I need to go there. Oh my God. Birds, crazy birds. Okay, so we go in there. Somewhere there is my bus. So here I am and it's Monday, it's banking holiday in Russia, that's why I don't work today and I decided to make a trip, a little trip which took me about three hours uh, and the distance was 120 kilometers only, <laughs> it took me three hours. So now. Now I'm in um, Nova Ladega, a small town uh, with the population of 8,000 people in Leningrad region. And today we are um, just, uh, uh, we'll be watching and seeing how people live in such a small town in Russia during sanctions. So my dear friends. Let's have a look. And of course, you can ask a question, Xenia, where are people, why there is nobody on the streets? First of all, just look, a woman is going somewhere there, <laughs> a man is here, so I'm not alone in this marvelous town. But you know, it's banking holiday today, it's 9. 15 in the morning of course people mostly are sleeping because they have uh, a day off so that's why it is nobody around you know uh, doesn't look like 
like changes here um i don't know and here too this doesn't work this is uh, i don't know like deteriorating so okay i hope i have still have hopes um of course it's not uh the center of this of the town uh, but you know it's almost on the shore of beautiful ladaga lake and unfortunately um like um not very um, maintained building you know but you know here we can see a more more well maintained building and it's um, a residential building so people live here so it's the it's the feature of a russian small towns people live mostly in places like this like two-story, three-story, four-story buildings, but not high-rise buildings like in St. Petersburg. So, yes, um, there also a building which is quite well maintained, looks like well maintained. Unfortunately, this uh, small town has a lot of buildings like this you know so this is well maintained and here is the destroyed almost destroyed and just look how beautiful it was when this building was new just look at this this arrows wow that is really wow and of course there are some buildings like this I don't know why they are not repaired and why they got in such a condition because you know apparently they were built um, with uh, standards some standards look at the walls just look at the walls it's very thick bricks so I really don't know why why is that in such a shape, such a condition. Okay, let's have a look. One more look somewhere. Looks like some well maintained, um, I don't know, parking lot? And this is oh it's a toilet <laughs> it's a public toilet okay now I know where a toilet is okay this this is not very good maintained building as well but it looks like it is inhabited people are living there just look at this um, Curtains? I don't know. Yeah. So... So yes, it looks like a parking lot. Let's have a look at the building. Is somebody really living here? I don't know. Looks quite shabby. And there it looks like a police station because there are police cars and the building is quite good. Looks very nice. Just look. And here is a good building, and here is the residential building, is quite in a good shape. Here also. 
So, you know, um, I don't know even what to think. So, why some buildings look like they are like abandoned and not inhabited and the other buildings look like they're quite maintained people live there and why some buildings are in such a shape why why is this happening i don't know okay Here also the place looks like it's some kind of square, some kind of public place where people can have a good time with a with a monument, something like that. The monument doesn't look very good. Uh, a little bit, you know. <laughs> okay, just look. okay. But they have benches, new benches, because in my last time here there were no benches. Uh, so, and again, this public space is surrounded by not very well maintained buildings that looks quite shabby. That look quite shabby okay here for example this building this is a very good place indeed for people for children and there are other places that have appeared here after i've been here for the first time and that's of course good But there are far too many abandoned, destroyed, deteriorating, neglected buildings for a small town of 8,000 people. Of course, they are trying to maintain their town, but apparently mm, more money, much more money is needed to maintain all this shabby uh, buildings uh, much more money is needed to bring it to nice condition um, but you know what I can tell you so this uh, town is located 120 kilometers away from St. Petersburg and if somebody wanted you know from the administration of this town from the administration of St. Petersburg they would um, they could have turned this little small town in a, uh, you know, like a resort town for people who live in St. Petersburg. Like they could um, go here for um, like public holidays for weekends and have their time. They could have done, could have made a nice resort of the, out of this uh, town, but, you know, it seems like nobody needs that. And, of course, this town could uh, earn more money with tourists from St. Petersburg, from other cities uh, 
um, neighboring St. Petersburg. So this plate says that it was the like pantry of um, the merchant whose name was Kayalin and this building was built in the uh, beginning of the 20th century. And also the plate says that uh, if any person will harm this building, they will face the criminal or administration, um, administrative, um, I don't know, like persecution. But you know, why is this historical building in such a not very good state now? Why it is not um, renovated? Maybe we also need to prosecute those people who are in charge of this and don't do that. Okay. This question is without any answer. Rhetorical question. Okay. Here we see some Soviet building. Okay. And this pathway looks like it was renovated. But this building, unfortunately, died in a fire, apparently. Okay. I don't know when and why. Oh, here is uh, also a plate specifying that this was a residential building and it was built in the 19th century and it it is also the object of cultural heritage so guys why didn't you maintain properly this building and допустить i forgot how to допустить the fire I don't know. Okay. Some Russian style shabby house. Again, not very well maintained. But this is a private house, I think. And the owners must maintain it. But it looks like they don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. One more burned down fire by fire house okay oh my god looks not very good and again it's the uh, 
object of the cultural heritage. This uh, house was built in 1893 uh, or 1895 and oh my god what is this this looks like a some kind of um, i don't know like historical building too what is this just look in what condition it is Unfortunately, it looks like a monastery or something like that. And look here. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, okay. It's really a church. And this is the building which I suppose belongs to this church. But you can see the condition of this church. Oh my God why why is this in such shape just look at this so this church hasn't changed from the moment when i was here for the first time and six years passed and nobody does anything to to bring it to a good shape and oh my god why why so many destroyed buildings you know yes they are from wood but it's our culture it's our heritage it's our history why isn't that maintained oh my god it's just unbelievable it's unbelievable so everything that they had done is this this thing to prevent bricks of falling onto somebody's head i think i th suppose and trees are growing from from the building right from the building just look at this unbelievable unbelievable i'm just i don't know how to disappointed i'm very disappointed so here is the church and i'm a little bit surprised that they have the names in russian and in english you know do they really think that a town in such a condition should be shown to uh, foreign tourists? Really? I mean, really? So here is the church which works and I'm on the road. <laughs> because there is no pathway, as you can see, there is no. And here you can see something looks like a port of some kind because you can see the crane which must be loading and unloading something okay all right so here is the church Those people are having some kind of ceremony and I will not distract them by my presence, so, okay. The church is very nice, 
the inside is looks very nice for such a small town oh my god oh my god cemetery cemetery i don't like cemeteries uh. and this plate says that this is a stone store which belonged to a um, merchant with the name with the surname Liskovsky in 1995 okay so and see the feature of many many russian towns so-called russian reality so from the face the building is maintained looks like it maintained was maintained properly like it has a coating it has nice doors and this side which is not quite seen to people is not maintained so do you have the same in your country look and this side is uh, intact as it was 100 years ago and here it looks like a residential building so two-story residential building and it looks like on the ground floor nobody leaves people live only on the second floor okay i would like to have a look at the apartment you know and of course the advertisements to join the army the russian army two at once here and here and you know by the way it was the first time when i saw uh, the advertisement to join the russian army in this town no other signs, no other billboards haven't seen so far. Only only those two. So yeah. The local cafe. Would you have your meal here? So it's a cafe and an lingerie store. So one more monument here, and as I suppose it is to Karl Marx, the founder of communism, one of the founders of communism. It's a little bit crumbling, and the the name is uh, almost gone. So Karl Marx, it looks like Karl Marx are not very. Um, in favor I don't know why do they do this to his monument uh, will it take much money to to just maintain it I don't know do they have respect so if they have a monument they must respect it I I suppose how I would be doing it and look at this this building Wow the upper upper side is uh, from wood the lower side is from bricks <laughs> nice if you think that i'm lying to you saying that uh, in many buildings the facade is maintained is coated and the backyard is not so look at this here is the most realistic example just look so here it is coated, maintained, very, looking very nice. And here, the same building. Look at the contrast. So I don't know why you can even see such buildings in St. Petersburg, even in the center of the city. And I remind you, the centers of the city in Russian cities are the most fancy places areas in every russian city the most uh, the most expensive apartments are located there 
the most uh, fancy restaurants are located there. The fanciest um, hotels are located in the center. So the center in many Russian cities is not a shabby area, is not the area where you can meet uh, like the hun hundreds of homeless or something like that. Uh, they are the fanciest areas in the city and even in the center of St. Petersburg you can see um, <laughs> buildings like this so they are um, coated and maintained uh, from the facade and they are under maintained in the backyard where nobody sees, <laughs> sees this <laughs> Look at this beautiful wooden building and see how it is badly maintained. And again, the metal bars on the ground floor, the same as in St. Petersburg. I was uh, telling it about this this reality of Russia uh, on my Prohibigram page uh, in my stories and uh, if you want of course you can subscribe to me to my page on the Prohibigram if you know what I'm saying <laughs> so here it is again I don't know why it is here it's a small town why do they af why are they afraid of uh, being robbed okay here it is like you know like well made not just metal bars like there but you know it's like mm, kovany i forgot the word kovany or maybe even don't know this word but look this is like a piece of art really these metal bars look nice but still I don't like the idea and also I would like to find a grocery store a normal grocery store not like the village type you know but um, the city type like Pitorochka Magnit or something like that and to show you the assortment there so I think I see the one and here it is it's called Vierni um, about seven or eight years ago uh, this chain was also uh, in St. Petersburg but then the stores of this chain disappeared and uh, you can find it in Leningrad region okay let's let's just go inside and watch what they sell So, you can see the prices also. Oh, they have coconut milk. You know, uh, in my um, local grocery store, it's very hard to find it. But here it is, look, and the price is very reasonable, very. So this coconut milk, <laughs> quite expensive, but... But you know, the prices are quite um, the same as in St. Petersburg. But apparently people don't make so much money as people may make in St. Petersburg. Yeah. And let's check the uh, vegetables for rotten carrots. And it looks like their carrots is much more 
fresh than carrots in my local store because apparently you didn't have you didn't see any rotten carrots yeah so but there are some rotten But you know, the assortment is pretty well, it's pretty good. Um, they have everything that we have in our stores. I hope they will not um, uh, kick me out with the camera. So, the meat here, look at the prices. Okay. Oh. This fish is uh, cheaper, by the way. But meat is uh, the same price as in Saint Petersburg. prices for cheese are the same as in St. Petersburg so I really don't know how they live here how people live here because they really don't make so much money okay and the yogurt is a little bit cheaper a little bit and it's from from Belarus that I like. Okay. Wow. Eggs. This price is really wow. Really. But the category is not very big. So, um, as you can see, C2 category means that the eggs will be a little bit like like this <laughs> not very big eggs so just let's compare so this is c0 category those these eggs are big c0 and here is c2 smaller you you see it's they are smaller chocolate bread so so the they make bread this bread by themselves and this is like uh, produced on some factory so cookies so everything in in place so it's uh, almost 11 uh, a.m. now and as you can see now there are more people on the street and they also have a shawarma booth here So if you if you think, oh Xenia, why do you say that people live very poor? But look at the car. This is Toyota. I don't know something. Toyota something. But this Toyota has Saint Petersburg uh, like plate. This white thing. The name plate, or what do you? so it's from St. Petersburg and I already noticed that as soon as a car looks nice very fancy car it's the car with the plate 
specifying that it's from St. Petersburg. As soon as the car is quite old, uh, like with rotten, you know, metal, uh, with the rotten doors, it's the local car. So yeah, some kind of cafe here. I don't know if I want to have my meal here, but you know, it's soon it will be um, lunchtime. And I would would like to have a lunch because I didn't have anything with me, didn't take anything with me today. So maybe, maybe I will be so, so fortunate to, to find a cafe or something like that. So yes, again, one more destroyed church. I don't know, maybe it was destroyed during the Second World War and uh, has, have, has never been restored but I have only one question, why? Why? Never restored and again, birches are growing right from its walls Looks like I found a cafe. It's called um, the Towns Park Cafe. Okay, let's. <coughs> oh my God! <laughs> let's just look what they have. Oh, they have a tent to be able to have your meal outside. Okay. So here is the cafe, here I'm in the cafe, so I'm on the terrace and as you can see I'm alone here, all, all the customers are in the cafe and I'm here, so I ordered a, a borscht, so look at the plate, mm -hmm. very nice, mm -hmm. let's try it. And I also ordered, um, it's called like a pan with um, pork and potatoes. So, my God, it's a big bowl of borscht. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. They also have business lunches here, so uh, it's um, like several courses, uh, it's uh, soup, second course, a drink, uh, bread, and some, and that's it. But today is a holiday, though it's Monday, it's a holiday, public holiday in Russia, so uh, no business lunch for today. only during working days. So here is my second course for today. It's uh, cooked and served right in the, in the frying pan. And you can hear the sound. Can you? Yeah, so, oh my God, that is a lot of food. Really? 
So let's have a try. Oh my god, it's too much. The meat is nice. Mm. I also must uh, tell you that there is a building here uh, which once was a resi uh, residency of uh, a very famous person from this town and it's now under reconstruction but you know i don't know where to uh, to find it so one building one residency of uh, a merchant as i suppose is under reconstruction and it will be renovated soon i think but other buildings like this for example are not so fortunate with renovations. So here is the place with two uh, ships. Uh, those are small ships that were a part of uh, the Second World War uh, here in Ladega Lake and the second is here and ironically this ship is called Kharkov. Uh, if you don't know, Kharkov is the city in Ukraine that is now under, under shelling, constant shelling, under the effects of uh, um, Kachovska um, electric power station collapse. And yeah, so these ships are open for for people uh, as you can see there you can just, um, embark and have some have some time here um, so yeah And they have a public space here. They have like something like an embankment. So again, you see uh, the unmaintained buildings there, there. Some maintained buildings there. However, However, not everything is maintained and I can say that the majority of buildings are not maintained, though this embankment, this public area looks nice. The trees, the benches, uh, the pavement is paved, you know, nicely. But unfortunately, the rest of the town look quite shabby unmaintained and underestimate so yeah And just look at this. I found the only building in the whole new Ladga town which is renovated. Look at this. Very beautiful, nice looking, very good. I don't know, but you know, I think that maybe the 
owners of the apartments there made some you know fund on their own collected money and did that i think that's how it was done not with the help of uh, the administration of the town so oh maybe maybe they helped i don't know but it's the only so far it's the only building residential building that is renovated so this looks like this building of a merchant residency of a merchant under construction so i think i found it but i don't know don't know for sure so here it is so it's really under reconstruction it hasn't finished so maybe that's the building and i found one more reconstructed building here i don't know if it's a residential building or not it doesn't look like it's inhabited so there are no oh there are there are curtains so it may be reconstructed and somebody is having a flower there so so two buildings are reconstructed but this building of course was reconstructed by the um, um, forces of uh, administration and here is <laughs> not reconstructed and two more buildings here and here looks like look like reconstructed yeah at least several at least four four buildings are reconstructed nice that is a nice result i think for 20 years after the 90s ended yeah four buildings in a small town and uh, one residence of some merchant though i told you before they could have made a you know small small candy out of this town but nobody needs that you know russia has its own way in the history as our president marvelous president says so yeah russia has its own path way in the history and in development not like other countries you know okay i don't know if i will be putting this into my video i will decide because some time ago maybe a year ago some people were really really um disappointed by me calling our president marvelous yeah i understand that not uh, anybody in the world can understand sarcasm especially in uh, you know well-developed countries where you don't have to hide your feelings emotions and your opinions but in russia very many people understand sarcasm yeah because very very often you have to say the opposite of what you think and sometimes to get your message uh, delivered in a proper way you need sarcasm because you cannot say it direct so you cover it hide it yeah so if you understand you understand 
My trip was almost over when I thought that to get to St. Petersburg, I'd need to make it the same way as I did in the morning to get to Nova Ladoga. First, taking a bus from Nova Ladoga to Volkhov, and then taking a speed train from Volkhov to St. Petersburg. Just imagine how surprised I was to find a direct bus from Nova Ladoga to St. Petersburg, just about to leave from the bus stop. But I was not 100% fortunate because due to traffic jams all the way back, I spent over 3 hours on the way instead of 2. But I was okay, I enjoyed the trip, I enjoyed the views, so everything was fine. Yes, more than 1 hour, excessive hour, but it's okay, it's okay. Looks like shadow. So I don't know, but this video is going to be very long. <laughs> I'm very sorry for that, but uh, you know, it's me. I want to show you everything, everything I see, everything I'm um, impressed with or disappointed with. Really, I'm really, I really want to show you as much as possible. And I'm a little bit tired, so I think it's all that I wanted to tell you to show you. So I'm here, and a beautiful canal leading to the Ladiga Lake um, is behind me, right behind me. nice weather uh, a little bit windy but still it's very nice it's very hot i think i got sunburned <laughs> i i have a, i have sunscreen cream with me um, so i will apply it now and yeah so my dear friends i think it's all for today thank you for being with me on this trip and thank you for all your likes, all your comments, and thank you for your support, financial, moral, any kind of support is just nice. Thank you so much, and see you in the next video. Bye.